no. A brown, shriveled corpse raised its head and looked toward Mason. Its glazed eyes swollen and bulbous. Mason froze in abysmal fear as he stared into the eyes of old man Fogarty. <gasps> old man Fogarty groaned. Oh, 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 the hungry groan of a spirit as he reached his shriveled arm out toward Mason. Mason flung himself around the corner forward. He had to get to the coffin. Just get to the coffin. He crawled, scraping his elbows, his knees, bleeding through his clothes. Just get to the coffin. Oh, and then he felt old man Fogarty's hand swipe and bound his foot. Get to the coffin faster. He had to go faster. He came to another intersection. He considered turning directions. He shone the light. And there, Racing toward him was a, a battalion of rats. No, he had to get to the coffin. He climbed forward. Please, God, get me to the coffin, pray. But now he's moving on an upward slope. He ran forward. And then he saw ahead of him a tombstone. It looked like it was sinking through the tunnel. He grabbed it. It was loose. Oh, he had... Had he thought he could pull the tombstone down and, and create a wall between himself and the creature, he clawed away at the dirt, scraping, shaking the tombstone back and forth till he slid underneath it. He pulled it down and bang. Oh. He looked back and he saw the severed arm of old man Fogarty <coughs> gripping the butcher knife in his hand. Oh, oh. Mason breathed. He had to get to the coffin, but now the tunnel was caving in on him further. He could barely move through the tunnel. Oh, it was like a, a worm burrowing through the earth. He looked up ahead and there he saw a light, a light. It was the hole, the hole of the coffin. It was the light of the moon. The rain must have stopped. Only three more yards. He climbed upward like climbing a, a mountain on his elbows. Two more yards. Oh, oh, one more yard. Oh, oh. And then he pulled himself into the coffin. Oh, oh and he felt the smooth satin on his cheek. Bang! The lid had fallen, and there lay Mason in the black, black dark of the coffin, <laughs> alone with his memories. No, no, no. His memories of that night. No, no, his memories of that night in the barn. Oh, no, that night when old man Fogarty's spirit locked him in the barn. No, 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 and then the rats crept into the coffin with Mason. He felt them nibble at his ankle. No, oh, he began to writhe and thrash, he kicked. He began beating the lid of the coffin, screaming insanely, No! 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 He gasped for air. <gasps> Until his eyelids closed and his black tongue protruded from his mouth as he sank into the darkness of death eaten alive by his memories, eaten alive by his greed, eaten alive.
are the graveyard rats. You might want to pull your feet up a little closer to your body. The Graveyard Rats by Henry Cunningham.